What is up gangsters? My name is Beansy and today we are making hot chocolate. I first made this recipe about five years ago as a distraction present. More on that in a bit. For this recipe, you will need skim milk powder, fine salt, or we will ground down some salt, powdered sugar or icing sugar, optional powdered chili like hot paprika, cayenne, or habanero, Dutch pressed cocoa powder, and... <laughs> cornstarch. The first waste of time, I mean optional step, is preheat the oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Add two and a half cups of milk powder to a sheet pan, or in this case, roaster. Bake for 20 minutes or until golden. In my case, it was about 15 minutes. This is supposed to add a depth of flavor with a toasty note. I doubt you'll miss it. Next, we will need a teaspoon of powderized salt. If you already have this, you should probably be on some kind of watch list. For normal people, you need to grind some in a spice grinder or mortar and pestle. Next, we will need two teaspoons of cornstarch. Why is it in a sketchy plastic bag? Apparently, Christmas Eve isn't a good time to buy cornstarch. All the supermarkets near me were sold out. After a few phone calls, I was able to meet someone in a dark parking lot, and I got this bag for $300. They assured me it was top quality. Now for the most important part, sift everything. Use the finest sieve you can get a hold of. This will directly impact your finished product. One cup of cocoa powder and two cups of icing sugar or powdered sugar, Pretty sure it's the same thing, but I really don't know because I'm not a baker. At some point, add in a half a teaspoon of powdered chili. This is a nod to the origins of this drink. Chocolate was mixed with corn and chilies as an energy drink. Now, let's talk a minute about what I mean by a distraction present. It's a present that might be cute and heartwarming, but its only purpose is to hide the fact that you bought something socially awkward or inappropriate for your significant other. Like a $300 industrial strength personal massager. Yeah, this thing is so powerful, I'm pretty sure it will cause arthritis in your hands and wrists. Now for the final and not very optional step. Grind the milk into a fine powder. I'm not sure it'll make a difference, but each time I made this, there were unintegrated milk particles. The milk powders I have used have been a bit granular, and I feel a good grind will help in the milk particulate distribution. As for the distraction present, I made a tea and cocoa set for her office out of a lunchbox and tool foam. All the nurses and her family thought it was super cute and it successfully hid the fact that I bought her an adult toy for Christmas. For preparation, grab a standard size mug and add two non-measure tablespoons of cocoa. Add just enough boiling water to cover and whisk. When all the lumps are out, fill with boiling water and stir in. Yes, there's lots of extra time and effort that goes into this and I personally don't notice a difference but it's always worth the extra effort for an orgasm even if it's not your own thanks for watching after a few coat